to Joel Dry now. Joel, the blame game's begun over the derailment of one of our new trains. Andrew, the train in question isn't in service. The government hasn't even taken delivery of it yet, but its derailment is causing them a PR nightmare. The opposition has been pretty quick to cash in on the accident and used it as means to attack the government over the rail fail. But Labor is very quick to counter that this mess over the new train rollout has been left to them by the LNP. The proposed pride of the fleet, indicative of a project that's off the rails. I heard a bang, then I seen that um, the yellow carriage thing come off the track and a guy rolled out of it. I thought he was dead. The new generation rolling stock train derailed and damaged, along with the reputation of the government, according to the opposition. Labor has botched the delivery of these new trains, and that's adding to the failure on the rail network. 15 of the ordered 75 new trains are in Queensland, but none are in service due to ongoing faults. Among them, they're not accessible to disabled people. The government forced to apply to the Human Rights Commission for exemption to allow them to run. This project is four and a half billion dollars worth. Why were these trains built non-compliant? The question of who's to blame for the dodgy design is hotly debated. These trains were trains that were ordered by the LNP government in the last term. Next generation rolling stock was ordered on the basis of the advice from the department. That obviously means right back in the beginning the design was botched. The train itself can't be moved until the initial investigation, which you can see is now underway, is completed. When it is time to move, equipment will be brought down the line and then hydraulic lifts will put the whole train back onto the track. It will then be shunted towards the maintenance yard for further investigation. Meaning more delays before Queenslanders are all aboard. These new generation rolling stock trains are needed urgently. At this stage, it could be many months yet before they're in service. Joel Dry, Nine News.